pack. How are you all doing? How does it make you feel when you get a bad cup of coffee? Depresso. Guess who had a good cup of coffee? This guy. You ready? Welcome back to our life in the woods, everyone, where we are transforming this neglected land to be the homestead of our dreams. Over these past few weeks, we have been able to make some huge transformations here. Our cabin completely changed when we installed new windows and tackled our dream garage makeover. And this week, we are pumped up to transform this unfinished spa area into a relaxing outdoor retreat, if only the weather would cooperate. We might not be doing anything today. Not a promising sound. I know what we could do inside. Oh! Those aren't sound effects. <laughs> That's the real deal. <laughs> what a way to begin. Love a good storm, but I always feel a little vulnerable. So hold your human or your dog because a long time ago, I watched a show where someone actually survived because they were holding their dog when they got struck by lightning and I went through both of them. Well, vlog, looks like it's a podcasting day today. We started a podcast. It's fun. You should come join the convo. Episode 10, you got a lot to catch up on. Well, everyone, after a long 15 days of rain, we have officially returned back to summer. That means it's outside project time. I'm talking about the wackiest spring weather I've ever seen this far into the season. Last year we started this project and we spent many days clearing and leveling the area. We carefully maneuvered the hot tub with our friend Max. Oh, that was so good! <laughs> and finally, we assembled the wood-fired sauna. You're funny. <laughs> After weeks and weeks of rain and one of the most sporadic springs to date, we can finally put the finishing touches on it and bring it all together. I know you're all thinking it, so I'm gonna say it. Gorilla, gorilla. <laughs> go, go, gorilla. What an absolutely incredible feeling to see a blue sky, beautiful white fluffy clouds, the green is glowing, the sun is out, it feels so good on the face. It officially feels like summer's back and I am grateful. Very first step to our project today is running around the property and grabbing all of the scraps of six that we have remaining. Buried in these ferns behind me are some Six by six and some eight by eight, and we're gonna scoop them up and use them for today's project. We're trying to use all of our tornado wood this week. I can't read. Our what? Tornado wood. What the hell's that? You not read our comments? Oh yeah. You know what I love? I love that our community calls us on our sh tells us we have tornado wood for lumber piles. And you know what? You're so right. So we're dealing with it. Tornado wood means that it's messy and unorganized. <laughs> if this isn't a hint, I don't know what is. And no, we're not getting any cows, goats, or chickens. <laughs> not that I think chickens would ever use this, but... <laughs> I don't know how much of a farmer I am, but yeah, this is some farm and ranch equipment. We're not farmers yet. Maybe next year. In all honesty, my back is still on recovery mode and it slowed us down a lot over the last few weeks. Not okay? No. It keeps coming and going. As soon as it's better, it's worse again. I used to just be able to lift anything and chuck anything and haul anything and I took so much pride in doing that. So it's really annoying to have Jasmine <laughs> helping me lift those six by six, but it's important. So shout out to Jazzy for being extra patient, extra helpful and caring throughout all of this because Having her pick those up before I held them and not and me not picking them up from the ground right now is extremely helpful. <laughs> Quick interruption of today's video to watch Crystal in her element. <laughs> Are you filming me filming the butterfly? I could film these butterflies okay. all day. <laughs> they're so pretty and there's so many. Like at any given moment, they're just flying around the cabin. And Crystal's just flying around with them. <laughs> okay, now that we have drawn out our plans, on the left side, we're gonna put those mysterious cattle tubs that apparently we're gonna get some cows for. On your left side, because that's where the entrance is, and then it will still keep the spot area open. And if anyone has any ideas what we should do in the left area, seating area, nothing. Do you want it to be 10? What do you want it to be? You're on an angle. 
That's just straight. I have to go down here more because then we need to level more, and I don't feel like leveling today. This is today. flat, man. Whatever. Eight and two pieces at seven, then, right? No. Six. Yeah, when you put two together, it makes a foot. You ain't just good looking. You also got the brains. Eight by eight. Four pieces of eight. Nice scarf. Where are you going, Hollywood? You look so cool. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of a clever name for my chainsaw. Sparky. <laughs> because Sparky is electric. And that means no more gasoline and this baby's running off the solar power. All right, let's see how it's this- electrifying. <laughs> How do you like it? It's pretty good. <laughs> but does it feel the same? No, not at all. It feels so different. The way it just chops it up too, it just feels different. How does, what does it feel like? I want to know. Um, I don't know. It just feels so different. Does it feel as powerful? I feel like people are actually very curious. A lot of people um, think we I'm have gonna one. I'm going to have to give you that review soon. It just doesn't feel maybe as powerful. I don't know. I think I know what's happening. It's teaching me to saw slower. I think it's saying like when I'm going too fast. Cause you're pushing hard. It's like, you gotta let the saw saw it. Does that make sense? Uh-huh, that's what you're supposed to do as so a chainsaw. I like it now. <laughs> it's right, you're right. Well, bam. And the reason we are building a base or a platform, a deck, let's be real, for the tubs is because wood chips are obviously on the ground and then you get a bunch of wood chips in your tub and you have to clean it more but we really like the wood chip style so we're using all of our spare six by six wood from last year because these tubs are six feet long by two feet deep and water is very heavy as we all know fruit trees coming in clutch they're coming in very nicely i should say not clutch come on jasmine what was i saying oh god fruit trees fruit trees they got the best of me Welcome to the future. We teleported to Norway. <sighs> Not only in real life, but virtually. How did we just teleport? Well, one, look at this place. We're in a Nordic spa. Basic circuit of hot, cold, rest, repeat. And two, with our Surfshark VPN. Netflix just got a whole lot better. Along with the benefits of spa, there's also great benefits of having a VPN at home. Like being able to change your IP address to another country or place where you can watch TV shows that you can't get in your region. Did you know most countries have their own Netflix? Surfshark is a VPN. More importantly, a VPN keeps you safe while you're using your phone or your computer by concealing what you're doing online. When you connect to public Wi-Fi, you become vulnerable to scammers and hackers. Once you have Surfshark, you simply tap to turn it on and your information gets encrypted, adding a secure layer of protection between you and those bad guys. Keeping passwords, usernames, and sensitive information safe. There's also no risk because if you don't like it, you have a 30 day money back guarantee policy. Click the link in the description and enter promo code VANWIVES for an exclusive Surfshark deal and get an extra three months free. Buy from the future. Remember, stay present. Guess what time it is, everyone? Level time. Trying to get out of something. You mean you don't want a parfait? No. Tacos? Wow. Get my like a freezy. A freezy? <laughs> after we level or right now? Right now. No, after. After. Oh. <laughs> no, I mean level right now. And after some hard work, it's time for a reward. Big work, big reward. Banana popsicle. Look at that cloud. I don't know it, it's just nice. It's like a speech bubble. The cloud says subscribe, you should subscribe. And let me ask you, are you watching on your TV? Because did you know you actually can't subscribe to a channel when you watch on TV? A majority of the people that watch us watch on TV. If you have that thing that's always right beside you, take it out of your pocket and please hit subscribe. And then you'll never know, no, you'll always know when we post a video. It's free! And it's free. Also, when you subscribe, you'll get updates from our community page and we always write little blurbs about, you know, anything that's happening. And then it also helps us make better videos for all of you. Love y'all. Love you, Pac. <laughs> all right, where are you going? Jasmine made fun of me because I was using proper form to pick up my water bottle. <laughs> Go I'm going to back. my osteopath, I'll be back. Shout out to Jan, a subscriber and an osteopath that Hi, Jan. made it very apparent when I rolled my ankle that this is important 
stuff. So here I go to do the important stuff, even though I really want to do that, but I know it's going to be worth it. Are you getting your ankle and your back all done? I might mention the ankle. You know, she, she's seen it, so. Have so fun. of all of you. <laughs> Love y'all, have fun. Bye. All right, y'all, just you and I, 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 I. I just gotta do this. Shouldn't take me that long. Just you and I, 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 I. This is what Crystal does. With my leveling queen off the job site, I'm crushing the platform alone, and I try my best to make Crystal proud. Nice! Crystal will be so proud. Ta-da! I hope it's up to Crystal's standard. Pre-level my books. Now I need to connect every six by six beam to the in-between joists. I think I'm gonna do that with, with the good old toenail trick, you know? And to be extra safe, I might even use some leg bolts, not just toenails, because we all know toenails break in real life and in construction life. Leveled and put together. And I think I'm gonna change gears right now. We're also adding something else here. I'm just gonna need water, not just the tubs. I'm about to get in the tractor and dig a trench. And let me just remind you, I am still learning the backhoe. So, it might look like I'm writing with my left hand. Everyone please be nice in the comments. This is how we learn. <laughs> we practice! You know, I think the best way to learn is by doing. While last time I had some troubles, I know I'm figuring out how to operate the backhoe. I just need a few more hours in the cab. Come on! Sorry, Crystal! It's always easier with two, eh? Sorry, plant. It's right where I need to dig, so I had to move it. All right, it's trenching time. Hopefully I don't um hit our deck. That's super duper close. And I'm a super duper amateur. Everybody wants it, nobody knows. Where it's coming from or where it really goes. You think it's too hot, cause you never go cold. A lot of you are probably wondering, this trench is not four feet deep. The water that's going to be going to the spa area is only going to be for the summer, spring, fall months. It's going to be connected to the hose. So when we winterize our hose, this is also gonna be winterized because there's really no point to have this here in the winter. But yeah, it's going good so far. Here we are in the trench. <laughs> okay, bad news bears. My front loader will curl but won't move up or down. And I'm not using the front end at all right now, but I kind of am. It helps me as my brake when I'm digging the trench. That way, a tractor's brake isn't like a car brake. It's not really in park, so you still move. So I like putting the forklifts or the bucket down to hold me in place more. And it's literally not moving up. I need to Google. Before I Google, trick hydraulic. Fluid and lines everywhere. It happened as soon as I put the backhoe, I think. I don't really normally see this. Kubota B26. That if you go to lift up, your three point goes up and down. It's all the way lifted up. Okay, we call this YouTube University Mechanics. I found the little screw. That's what they're talking about. I'm new to the tractor world. I don't like that design either. Like, see, look at that, it's chafing the hydraulic line. I need to tape that. Let's hope that the forks right now can move up and down. It worked! Oh, I thank you all for cheering. Basically, it was taking all the hydraulic fluid and putting it to the back and then none was going to the front loader. I don't know why, but I'm gonna see if it happens again as I start to continue to trench now that I have my brake and my forks to hold me down and see what happens because, well, that was spooky. Okay, so it's doing it again. If anyone has any knowledge, please rate it in the comments. Super strange. It's never done this before. I mean, I know how to fix it now, I guess, so that's a good thing. Just watch how slow this goes up. I really have 
not a clue, but you can tell by the sound of the tractor of like what is going on. Anyways, I would rather the forks and the bucket <laughs> because to get the decking boards, I'm going to, I don't want to carry them over one by one. To the lumber yard I go. Kidding about the lumber yard. I need a break. I need a break of the tractor. Tractor boring. fiasco. Before I pick up a lot of decking yeah, boards from the tornado. I'm really just avoiding it at all costs, to be honest. Because I know I'm probably going to eat shit back there. I always do. Travel real slow. Wherever you want to go. Hi, down. <laughs> Tell cool us your Wherever you want to go. I don't know if you y'all can tell, but. It's looking pretty nice, eh? Cinematic mode on your iPhone. Oh my goodness. Like, Izzy, you're a model. Home sweet home. Mama's home! Back to work and my back is back to work. I went to my first osteo appointment yesterday and it was absolutely incredible. Platform is looking amazing. Jazzy did a great job with the trench. Somebody was saying, save the lumber. Yeah, you're not wrong. Like I said, this is all part of it. We're gonna deplete this pile and build it a beautiful stand one day. It is just another absolutely gorgeous day at the homestead. I'm just admiring the view of the cabin from over here and it's one of my favorites because you can see the cabin and the garden and it's a bluebird day. I'll stick my head out the window. I'll fly wherever the wind blows. It just doesn't get old. The tractor will never get old. Love you, Clementine. So we've got some 10 true one inch by 10 inch milled wood boards that are going down that we're using as our deck for the cold plunge. And what we're doing is we're putting them all down in a line, screwing them in, and then we're going to come along after and cut them all off. Um, what is this called too? Can you help me out? What? So milled wood, so many, like, you have like the rough cut, but then you have the, come on. Finished? No, is it finished? That simple word? Dressed? No. Dressed! Is that it? Yeah. This is quite rough. This is quite smooth. Dressed. It is quite dressed. It's like all dressed shit. Through the sunshine, I see the clouds through dreams going away. Yeah. That worked out well. Okay, we have one more board. And then I looked over, and this one's lying in the trench. You know how to find the cold spots, don't you? It's a perfect trench for you, eh, Bear? Looks sick. It's a whole resort here. Yeah. I actually love it. I can't wait. This is so good for your back and our bodies and our health and everything else, too. Being built just in time for broken backs and hot weather. The cold tubs are on the platform and they're already being filled up. We don't mess around out here. We're ready for a good old cold bath. How long do you think it's gonna take? Probably like 25 minutes. It's a lot of water. This is our shower surface. Pretty sweet. 29 minutes. Nice. One hour to fill the tubs in total. True, times two. Our next task is to tackle the shower. Starting with the support beam and after a seamless installation, we are ready to finish trenching our water lines. Okay, I started to dig the second half of the trench to meet the other trench and my bucket just flew off. So this allows the pin that's connecting these two not to come out. Right here, we just put a twist tie because I don't know if I lost the piece or I didn't come with the piece, or my pin is somewhere in our trench. So, we don't have a bolt or a nail that has a head that big and it will just end up sliding out. So, here we are with the twist tie leg. It works! Woohoo! Good job, Jazzy! The bucket is back in business, baby. While Jazzy's digging, I'm cleaning out the tub. I actually cannot wait. I don't mind being a pool girl.
own a tractor, they said. It'll make your life easier, they said. It'll teach you a lot of good lessons, they said. The hydraulic line has come loose. Darn, it's first a lot one. Too. And we don't have any oil yet. It comes tomorrow. So that means I leak that size. She's out for the count for a bit, girl. Gotta say, tractor saves you a lot of time, but every once in a while it slows you down. Gotta take care of her. You know, Clementine, she wants to live a long life. I think I got it. Okay, let me try this. Ready? Yep. <sighs> Clementine is sad. Clementine is going to take a nap. And one day, her mothers are gonna fill her back up and fix her hose because it looks like it's been punctured and it wasn't even leaking from where we thought it was leaking. It's just leaking directly from the hose. All right, literally got that far. From here to here, I need to do by hand. We have an order coming for the tractor tomorrow I think so we're trying to add on that way we can use it it's called the 6m 3k mega 3000 hose it looks like and this is how you learn back to being a tractor what I think the worst part about all this is I'm so close other worst part when you're used to using a tractor when you have to go backwards, it sucks. Awesome. I just emailed you. It's really hard. Uh, Here we go. Oh my God. Tractor Jasmine is back to finish the trench by hand while I source replacement parts with Kubota. Hoses come end of next week. I'm gonna be here still. You're doing a really good job. I oh, know, I'll make it, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna go show you Bella. She's really cute and I mean, you're good, but she's cute. <laughs> like how adorable is this dog? <laughs> Can you get cuter? That's a nice water sleeper. What a great spot. Oh my gosh, Bear. Wow. The thing is, is how could you even give up She's when you're this close, right? Oh, Bella's got her lamb chop here. She's quite the character right now. <laughs> is that a lamb chop? You brought lamb chop to work? Yeah, she's so cute. She brought lamb chop to work. That's adorable. She said, I'm here to work with my lamb chop. Okay, I have an idea. Whenever we get the hose, we're gonna disconnect it just from the shower stuff, right? Yeah. Just cut it. You're gonna then grab the packs, bring it over there. I'm gonna, gonna dig, dig the trench and put it in. And put all okay, the dirt back on plan. the trench with sand because we got all the rocks here and all the bellas and all the lamb trolls and all the babies who cry <laughs> lamb chop is gonna be brown chop man <laughs> you got this for you looks like you won at a carnival <laughs> what game did you play for this <laughs> Watch her play all day. Who loves lamb chop? <laughs> Spam comments lamb chop if you love lamb chop as much as I do. Lamb chop, lamb chop, lamb chop. Lamb, lamb chop, chop, hashtag lamb chop. Lamb chop. <laughs> She's so cute with her lamb chop. Oh, I love her. We're moving up in the plumbing world, y'all. We're no longer using shark bites. Shark bites, because after you buy around three shark bites, you've now paid for that tool. Hardy har har. Jasmine's in the closet currently cutting our cold water hose that goes to the back of the house, outside of the house. And she is going to fit some new plumbing pieces on. With a T, we will extend the line so that we still have the cold water hose, but we also have another cold water line off of that that will run to the spa area. This is why we have a trench open. Love it! I actually feel as though so, so many of you were telling us for so long about the shark bites and how great they are, however, how expensive they are and how silly they are. It's, this is just such a different experience than we've ever had. These just seem to make a lot more sense. I'm gonna open the water line. You haven't yet? Nope. Any leaks? Fairly uneventful. Woo! 
now time to plumb it all the way to the spa area where we are finally under the house and the deck with the pecs. And now we're in the trench. The pecs is now in the ground. And did you know, because I found this pretty fascinating, that pecs actually last 40 to 50 years underground. It just doesn't do well with UV, which is why we're boxing it in over there. Wow, this is going to be so nice. I'm excited. Yep, it's gonna be so sick. This is amazing. I'm gonna be having cold showers out here on hot days. It's pretty fun. Unreal, eh? I love it. Me too. It's perfect. I love it. It's actually going to be so nice that way. You don't come out of the sauna, you're super sweaty, you jump in the cold tub, your 10 other friends do, you're all hanging out in your bacteria. You know what I mean? There's some stats about how much bacteria is in your butthole, and when I learned that, I was like, we need that before people are jumping in our hot tub, let me tell you that much. <laughs> and myself pretty disturbing and I'm not grossed out easily so if I'm grossed out you can only imagine Howie Mandel. Who? <laughs> Howie Mandel. He's a Jurafo. We can't even shake oh. his hand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh my god it's so nice for you. <laughs> Bear, you want to have a shower with me? Get it. Get the water. Get it Bear. <laughs> Not happy. Okay. You wanna try it? It's beautiful. The human spa has come to a halt. It's doggy spa time. All right, we don't mess around in the woods. <laughs> oh, poor dog. I also just didn't even look and I was like, where's the other camera? Is it there? <laughs> Double hose, All right. hot and cold. All right, who's up? Bella's in the house, Izzy's going under the house. Yo, bath time. You're up. Wanna have a bath? Are you ready to have Let's a bath? Let's have a bath. Fast, so you Let's go. Come, Come on. She stinks. She rolled in dead animals. Oh my gosh, did she ever? She reeks like the forest floor decaying. You're going to the dog wash. Scrub a dub dub. Bella's getting that stanky animal off her and she's kissed. Spikey is not happy. Stay bear. This is fun, isn't it? Look at ah! Hey, Izzy! How do you feel about bath time tonight? Not happy, Ma. Oh my goodness. Sad doggy. Are you sad girl? You're a good dog, eh? But you're not even trying to leave me. Gotta wash the belly. Scrub a dump dump. Yeah! Good girl. Mm. Oh, Human spa's now open. Ooh, yeah, she's cold. Cold night, okay? Oh! It's good. Oh. oh, so good. Cheers. Ooh. Back to work. It ain't a tractor, but it's got an engine and a motor. With the doggy and the human spas and now closed for the day, we are back in the tornado wood. And it's time to tackle the final piece. Okay, I think we figured out what this space is missing. So there's always someone who just wants to be a bystander and never actually cold plunge. So you've probably guessed it, a seating area. What's a comfortable seat size? I don't know. Oh, I should go measure a chair, BRB. 18 inches, if anyone's wondering, 18. You see the design now? Because I finally am. <laughs> the vision is coming to life. This is probably something I should have built in the shed on flat ground, but I'm making it work and it's looking lovely. The finishing touches to bring it together. Vibes. I'm happy we cut them down. Thank gosh I had Senorita. I'm going in. You're going in right now? No, you're not going in right now. What the heck? <laughs> no, you're not going to do it. I'm so hot. You won't do it. I'm so close. You won't do it. Reverse psychology, everyone. You won't do it. You won't. Oh my gosh, she did it even under. What the heck is going on? <laughs> 
She did it! <laughs> uh huh. Woo Are you good? Oh, I'm great. <laughs> Gonna go swimming. Woo! It's okay, Bear. There, good girl, oh, Bear. It's your own pool, Bear. A hop, skip, and a jump out of the living room or the bedroom, and we're in the spa area. We chose to put the spa over here because it's nestled in the trees and it's peaceful and absolutely beautiful scenery. For a little while now, we've been working on this area. I would consider it almost complete. I mean, the trench is still open, but we'll get there. When you first get here, you've got somewhere to hang up your robe. You have somewhere to put your towel, leave your water bottle, your phone, take a seat, watch your friends, place to stay and hang out. A communal area if you are not up for the ice bucket challenge. Ice bucket <laughs> challenge. This is the wood fired hot tub. If you all remember, we installed this with our good old friend Max. And made Australian stew. Anyone ordered some <laughs> stewed Australian? Oh, far out. Yeah. And made Australian stew, you're right. That's exactly <laughs> what happened because we couldn't figure out how hot to get it and it was boiling water. Anyways, we've since then figured that out and it's such a luxury to have this in the woods. Um, obviously no electrical run here. It is completely wood fired and we love that. Sauna, also wood fired. Great place to hang out for 15 to 20 minutes before you hop in your cold bath. This is a cedar barrel sauna. The newest addition, the cold plunge deck. We have two in here. I mean, realistically, you could get you and a buddy in here, so there could be four people going, yep. but I prefer to have my own tub to myself, <laughs> so. And then, before you go in the hot tub, after you get out of the sauna, or whenever you really feel like cooling off on a hot summer day, there is cold water here. So after weeks of different projects all finally coming together, the spa area is nearly complete and we can't wait to host our friends and family here. We know we're gonna have a heck of a time and we're all going to be able to relax, laugh, and get rejuvenated. See you next Sunday, Pack. See you next Sunday, Pack. Love you all. <laughs>